Meet the vloggers are vacationing in Dubai and simply having an awesome time. They are returning to their rental car after a fun-filled day, only to find a surprise twist waiting for them on the hood. This person, yeah, they must live in the apartment that we lived in to get in and take pictures. Do you know how close this is? Apparently, someone must have been following them around with a camera for the whole day. Each photograph has a completely handwritten message just for Yasmin. The last photograph labeled It's Me is completely blank. Some of these pictures were only taken a few feet away, meaning that whoever took them was close enough to grab her if they wanted to. I think that her husband Kel could be playing a joke on her because he doesn't sound especially concerned about the whole thing. Listen to this part and tell me if you think he is the one responsible. I'm watching you and then this picture here, it's me, just a blank one. In the moment, you might not catch some unexpected apparition appearing around you. It's only when you play that moment back that you find it. Published by William Villas in September of 2013, he writes in Malé, This video was filmed on August 3rd, 2013 when we were waiting for the troops to have a video clip that was still unavailable. The video shows a group of men sitting and talking in the darkness. They appear to be sitting in a stairwell as they laugh, completely oblivious to what's going on around them. You see a girl dressed in white with long black hair and shoulders hunched forward pass by slowly at the top of the stairway. The men must not have noticed in the moment as they continue on as usual, but they sure must have gotten the scare of their lives when they watch this clip back later on, only to make this mysterious and unexpected discovery. Once you see the apparition, you watch it again, over and over, because you can't look away from it. This video was taken at a famous car race in France called the Citroën Rally. A police officer is keeping the peace when he makes the mistake of not looking both ways before crossing the road. His carelessness nearly gets him annihilated when one of the contestants comes rushing around the bend. The officer puts his arms out at the last second, but this would have done absolutely nothing to save him. That papery smacking sound you hear is the back of his vest actually making contact with the car. Amazingly, the police officer brushes off the event like it's no big deal, and the crowd barely has a reaction either. Maybe they've grown accustomed to close calls. Num is this an authentic electronic voice phenomenon caught on camera? Published by Massage ASMR in April of 2013, this video was filmed at a temple in Egypt in October of 2012. The YouTuber's friend shared this footage with Massage ASMR. The short clip appears to have captured a strange childlike sigh while on a temple tour. According to the uploader, there were no children on the tour, which consisted of mostly Australians and South Africans. The voice sounds very out of place, which is why they thought it might be an EVP. Perhaps even speaking ancient Egyptian. Is Cleopatra trying to speak to us? What is her message to the modern world? Or is something else haunting this temple? The answer remains unclear for now. A South Korean ghost hunter named Tosachi is exploring a haunted house where seven people met a fateful end, including a husband and wife. The inside is weird and creepy in his words and give the paranormal investigator goosebumps to explore. He knows that multiple spirits are close, he can sense them, and then one of them gets his attention. Well. Faint knocking sounds behind him are from a ghost at the window begging to be let in. This relic is keeping them away. It's a stick with thorns which, in South Korean culture, is said to keep the spirits from entering when placed above the entrance. Please, please. Every time he tries to go outside and catch a ghost on tape, his motion tracking software keeps freezing, a sign that they are near. The spirits are waiting for him to remove the relic and let them back inside where they belong. He removes the stick and waits. They walk in through the front door.
and he feels a rising horror as one passes through him. Oh! But unfortunately, his paranormal equipment continues to shut off just before the ghost sighting is caught on tape. Finally, when he gets it back on, a ghost appears in the dark hallway. There is nothing on the screen to mistake for a person, just total darkness, and yet the ghost hunting equipment identifies a mysterious shadow figure moving past. And when Tosachi returns to the window where he heard knocking noises before, he sees another full-fledged ghost figure in the window. At 19 minutes and 20 seconds, it stands in the hall, apparently glad to be allowed inside again. It climbs up to sit in the window and, at 19 minutes and 29 seconds, appears to wave hello. Scary, right? The San Antonio Cemetery in Texas could be one of the scariest places in the world. To go exploring if this video is real, a ghost hunter from the Paranormal Journal stands in total darkness when some creepy things are caught on camera, and despite the lack of light, what he experiences is downright terrifying. His paranormal equipment detects movement and then a single word crackles across the spirit box in an odd, staticky voice. He never shows us exactly where he positioned the motion detection equipment, so it could be detecting his movement or a gust of wind for all we know. But here's something weird. If you look closely, there is a strange phantom light at 29 seconds, the same moment that the motion detection alarm goes off that soon fades away. I would say there's another investigator, but I think that he might have been exploring the haunted cemetery all alone that night. If so, I have no idea what this light is, and even if it was a member of his team, that still doesn't explain the odd voice moments later that says hello. Lizzie Arts is freaked out in her own home because a ghost is haunting her. Just woke up to smoke one. Weird things are caught on camera all of the time. Really creepy stuff like when the ghost kept setting off the smoke alarm all night. I'm home alone. I know which one it is. Oh, I know which one. It's right over there. The ghost seems to turn the smoke alarm on upon her mention. We have two more smoke alarms in the house. There it goes again. And instantly stops when she yells at it. You need to stop that! Oh no, that scares me. There are two other smoke alarms that the ghost is not bothering with, just this one by her room. I think she should try changing the batteries and see if it still happens. If that doesn't solve it, then that means this video is really paranormal with more creepy videos to follow, I'm sure. Yes, poltergeists can be powerful, but this one is like its own microburst. Published by Find Ghost in August of 2021, this haunting footage was originally captured on a security camera in April of 2009, just after midnight. The footage shows an empty room with chairs stacked along one side. One chair is overturned in the middle of the room like it was flung there. And after seeing what happens next, perhaps it was, an object falls off a table, one of the stacked chairs wobbles back and forth, then all of a sudden all the chairs burst as if flung forward simultaneously. A moment later another invisible burst in the room sends all the objects flying momentarily into the air. In the last split second everything flies sky high again. What is happening in this haunted room and what will happen next? This is definitely one of the scariest videos ever posted on my Chills Narrator subreddit by far. It was found on a random Discord and probably was floating around some nefarious parts of the web long before getting sent my way. A teenager whose identity remains unknown. Hears a strange noise outside of his room and decides to investigate. He doesn't make it very far before he finds his investigation has gone wrong. In a terrifying way. His final scary moments are caught on camera and it looks pretty grim. See, 
I'm gonna go out there and look. A slight smirk shows he never expected an unknown creature to descend upon him from within the darkened doorway. He doesn't have a chance to properly scream before the mysterious animal-like figure is on him. In a single scary moment that probably ended badly, the creature's snout and a dog-like face are visible moments before it strikes at five seconds, along with two beady white eyes. So maybe this is a dogman sighting caught on tape and something that's beyond creepy. These weird white streaks of light look to be the dogman's claws and they're coming straight down towards this kid's head. Freaky, right? Enrique Ortiz published this video in February of 2015, writing, I filmed this a few years ago when I was walking across Central Park one evening just west of the Bethesda Fountain on the 72nd Street Crossway. I heard really loud screeching coming from the sewer and I decided to film it with my phone. In the background, you can hear joggers running past Ortiz and although he doesn't know what the sound could be, he notes that it was quite vicious and loud. <laughs> The high-pitched screeching coming from the grate sounds a bit like a pig squealing. It certainly doesn't sound like alligators, as suggested in the video title. The screeching is prolonged and agonizing, leading many in the comments section to agree that it's definitely a sewer fight of some kind. Some thought it might be a fox, raccoon, or possum. My guess would be a rat duel. What do you think? Here's a video that is either 100% fake or 100% terrifying. A family from the Philippines is going for a joy ride when they spot a pedestrian ahead of them who is scary enough to make them bust out the cameras and start recording. <laughs> The obvious answer is that this person could have just pulled their shirt over their head as a prank, but look a little closer and you can see that there is a pair of fully developed shoulders that lead up to the neckline, right where the head should be. You can even see sweat stains where the shoulder blades are. Also, more importantly, how would they be able to walk so smoothly like that with a shirt covering both of their eyes? This person definitely has a strong sense of direction. I can't tell if this video is real or not, but a local myth in the Philippines would suggest it is actually real. Apparently, when you live in the Philippines and you see a person who is missing their head, it is a symbol that means they are going to pass away soon. Therefore, a lot of people think that this video is proof that the legend is real. Something is worth exploring with Tom as he checks out an abandoned mansion that isn't so empty after all. Noises make him want to run away screaming for help, but he also wants to make longer YouTube videos than he normally does, so he pushes onwards. Uh, I'm hoping no one's in here. No one's definitely gonna be in here, so I guess I'll be fine. Wait. What the f Tom doesn't know what to think when a clown walks out and casually turns down the hall without a single glance his way. The clown begins to rock in place and exploring with Tom actually starts to feel bad for him, which makes no sense in my opinion because almost no one would approach a stranger dressed as a clown in a busted mansion. Instead of running away to get help, he decides to offer the clown help himself. He never does actually dial a number. Another reason this could be fake. If I call the police for you, you're going to have some help, okay? You're going to get some help? I'm going to call the police for you right now, okay? Suddenly, the clown snaps back to reality and rejects Tom's help with a look that that makes him take off. Yo! Yo, I'm gonna help you. In my opinion, this final response is what he should have done all along. A man is asleep when his curtains draw back in a way that looks more like an invisible hand than the wind. Shortly thereafter, a round white object that could be a head lingers around the bottom of the window and appears to gaze in. Next, a bizarre triangular object flies up in a blur directly over his sleeping form. It could be a ghost or it could be an insect. If you thought the curtains moving in the beginning was just the wind, then how do you explain this portion of the covers moving under his bed shortly before the video ends? It looks like something is crawling up next to him, but we never get to see its true form. This is one of those videos that is either completely real or scripted with no in-between. The problem is I'm not sure which. 
When you hear something outside and you don't know what it is, it's probably best not to go in search of it. That's what YouTuber Leviathan did in January of 2020 writing, We've been hearing chilling sounds from Barn, and we decided to investigate. What we've seen lurking in there was petrifying. Is there someone who is able to identify the creature? The video shows the pair walking through the darkness in the woods at night. They enter a wooden barn and are shortly met by this terrifying rattling howl. When the thing starts banging around the barn, the pair of thrill seekers don't stay long enough to find out what was making that noise. Who can blame them? Would you want to face whatever is making this sound? In the nighttime darkness? Me neither. Not everybody in India is a believer of the spirit world. Varun Kati seeks to dispel the legends behind the most haunted places in his home country. One such debunking video of him exploring some spooky abandoned buildings in the woods left him scared but still somewhat skeptical. He goes exploring the abandoned buildings one by one, whistling and taunting for any spirits to make themselves known. Less than 30 seconds later, he gets a reminder as to why provoking the paranormal is a recipe for scary things in the woods caught on camera. A loud moan rings across the treetops, a scary noise from the woods that even Varun has to admit is strange enough to give pause. He gets a really bad feeling that says it wasn't paranormal, just afraid of a wild animal or something, and he gets out of there quickly. I think this brave explorer might be unwilling to admit that he just caught strange and scary evidence of paranormal EVPs caught on tape. He says this could be a monkey, but let me know if you agree. Here's another listen. It sounds like a ghost haunting the woods to me. Either way, ghost or animal, both possibilities sound terrifying. A YouTuber named Hugo Blog is curiously poking around an old abandoned mansion with his friends in Houston as they search for nothing in particular. The crumbling estate looks like it could fall on their heads at any minute, but they bravely keep going in as deep as they dare. I don't speak any Spanish, but I can tell by their voices that they get weirded out by something and decide to leave. Later, they are all reviewing the video of their exploration, along with some digital pictures. When one still shot in particular grabs their attention, can you see the silhouette of a girl peering at them through the railing? I definitely can. Another YouTuber named Luis Gomez says that he went there too, and that his camera picked up two children standing in a doorway looking at him, much like the photo you just saw. But this story gets much weirder than that. There's a bunch of text at the end of the video that says someone met their end in the house. Nobody was able to find the person responsible. I wasn't sure if I believed this story. So I did some googling and I managed to find the exact same text on a Houston police blotter. The police gave an address and when I put it into Google Maps, it took me back to the house in the video. In other words, the story is real and someone really did meet their end at this location. Nobody knows why. Needless to say, Hugo Blog has not been back since. A girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. The video starts off very lighthearted as Jessie plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. 
Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my God! Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Oh my God! Apparently, their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shut the up. <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that, though we'll never know for sure. It could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. Published in October of 2011, the YouTuber wrote in the video description, I found where the creature has been hiding, along with my dead cat. What creature? While searching his property, the original uploader found a sewer or a drainage pipe, which is where the video begins. As he's walking towards the drain, he only brought his camera and a knife. What does he need a knife for? We'll soon find out. He enters the tunnel, and you can't see much inside apart from his bright headlights on the walls. But then again, as the light shines ahead deeper into the tunnel, he seems to catch a brief glimpse of a creature standing there. Two bright eyes gleaming in the darkness, he races out of the tunnel. He explains that his camera died as he was hurrying home, the sewer being a quarter mile deep in the forest. For some reason, he decides to head back the next day to explore the tunnel again, in the hopes of capturing the creature face to face. This time he enters the tunnel through the opposite side, where the stream is coming out. Inside, he finds the skull of his cat. He also finds what he believes to be the creature's nest. That's my cat. That's my cat. I think I just found this place's nest. So what do you think? Is this creature indeed alien or some other known life form? Unless we know what sewer this YouTuber is exploring, we cannot move forward with verifying if this footage is legitimate. A YouTuber named Adam Edwards is making a Disneyland vlog when suddenly something sinister decides to make an unwanted guest appearance behind him. Hey guys, so today we're in Disneyland and um, I'm gonna look out the new ride. Two hands reach out for him from behind a red curtain with long, gnarled fingers. Adam quickly turns the corner and finds nothing where the hands just were. He goes back around the corner, and as soon as he starts talking, the hands return. Yet when he checks again, nothing's there. I did notice that he never checks around the floor, so this could be a pre-planned prank. If that's the case, I'm guessing his friend was on the other side, and they ducked down as soon as Adam went around the corner. Still, let me know if you recognize this part of Disneyland, and if you've ever experienced anything similarly strange there. This one's a head scratcher. TikToker Elkakoi.tv shares this mysterious video that's a total nightmare. Watch around the side of the door. Is that? What the f was that? At first, it looks to me like a ghost peeking out sideways at the guy, but TikTokers are floating other theories as to what the heck that was. Bro, what was that? Well, I think Cap like Caleb could be right that it was this mirror. It's the reflection in the mirror that's throwing people off.
That could be anything. But to me, it looks like someone covering their abnormally large face with their hands. What do you think it is? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.